One of the incredible characteristics of Tesla batteries is their ability to be supercharged. That is, a normal Tesla's battery pack can go from 0 to 50% charge in just 20 minutes. You can effectively supercharge any size Tesla battery from 0 to 100% charge in just under an hour. This gives you several key advantages over lithium ion and lithium polymer batteries that don't have such capabilities. For one, the turnaround time for charging a battery is much, much shorter. The one hour charging time can allow you to swap out batteries on the go without the need to wait a while for the plane battery to finish charging. And one of the most common causes of lithium ion battery fires is using a charging cable that pumps out too many amps into the battery pack, causing it to overheat and catch fire. And when you charge a Tesla battery on a normal charge cycle, the batteries can take in more amps due to their supercharging capabilities. And this is good in case the charging current surges due to an improper wire or bad electrical connection. The Tesla packs we have here each have a max discharge of 30 amps, which is enough output to operate most RC plane engines, specifically up to a 35mm diameter, as well as some 35-44mm to 44 millimeter diameter engines. One of the key things about lithium ion batteries is the electrolytes. Electrolytes come in a sort of fluid inside the batteries, which I have represented here as two water bottles. And this fluid carries the electrolytes. Now, during each charge and discharge cycle, the electrolytes transfer from the positive to the negative if you're discharging, or from the negative to the positive terminal if you're charging. So, when you have a fully charged battery, um, nearly all of your electrolytes are centered on the positive terminal, and you have no electrolytes on the negative terminal. And this is a very key feature because it allows us to understand some of the limitations and benefits of lithium ion batteries. So one of the reasons why it is so hard to get a very high discharge rate with lithium ion batteries is because you can only flow, you can only transfer your electrolytes at such a rate between uh, your positive and your negative terminals. Um, this is not the case with lithium polymer batteries because they don't have electrolytes to deal with in the first place. Now, what's also useful to understand is that um, in normal batteries, this is essentially the same as going to zero volts is when all you, ha you have all of your electrolytes on the negative terminal and no electrolytes on the positive terminal. Now with both lithium ion batteries and batteries in general, discharging to zero volts is very bad. It all almost always damages the battery um, and makes it irreparable. But the case with Tesla batteries is that you can actually do this and recharge your batteries um, with very uh, little loss in battery capacity. And for one, this adds much more safety to the Tesla batteries because they can be recovered and far more often you don't have dead battery packs um, because one of the batteries discharges zero volts. So, as you can see, it took just about an hour to supercharge this battery from 0% charge all the way to 100% charge. Now, we look forward to being able to test these battery packs um, on some of the drones we have, and I'll be sure to post some videos once we do that. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe.